welcome uh, all yeah. the students uh, to this exciting session from shiksha study abroad my name is bebo when i am your moderator for today's mm-hmm. session for, uh, on behalf of shiksha team so we have uh, sai with us tanish sai he is a panelist for today as and he is a student at indiana university purdue university indiana polis so it's called iupui in short right so he is a student uh, pursuing yeah. uh, computational data science there and he'll be sharing his journey and experience as to how like how practically when he took his admission how his journey has been so far and uh, thanks again for joining us sai uh, so to begin with i'll request you if you can give a, uh, give your introduction to the students so that they can get to know you a bit better so coming to my intro uh, i was a undergraduate pass out of the year 2022 from the background of computer science so i came for this intake in the spring 2023 and i am into the masters program of computational data science in the university iupui which is indiana university purdue university okay that's great and uh, like what did you uh, do in your graduation how was your 10th and 12th and why did you decide on studying in the usa so how did that come come across so in my undergraduation where i was in the computer mm-hmm. computer science background so i wanted to learn more about the computer science things and i was actually into the data science so my goal is to be that a data analyst thing so which um, i came into the data science course in this computational ones uh, so i then picked uh, about doing masters in my undergrad okay that's great and how did you come across uh, like uh, when did you plan that you want to pursue your education abroad and why did you select usa as your study destination so it was not that long period uh, in my undergrad at the third year at the final year i just decided to do my masters so when for why usa it's a common question where everyone everybody gets mm-hmm. that same question even though interviews in visa interviews so when we see that for the masters the universities which are in the top rated and very much uh, high quality high efficient education is given by the usa so coming to this university particular universities usa are having the top rated universities uh, in the field of every computer mm. computer science backgrounds so these are the top rated universities uh, particularly this ones it is under the purdue university Uh, it is a collaboration with mm-hmm. the Indiana University and the Purdue University, but this CDS course which I was taken into is under the Purdue degree, okay. Purdue University. Okay. So I went through the, the university's background and every aspect and uh, scope of that the course, and so I finally fixed this university Great. among them. Great. And uh, like, how was your experience with Shiksha team? Uh, like when you started your yeah. journey when you started looking out for colleges so how how was mm-hmm. uh, your journey with shiksha team how helpful was was the shiksha team to your case yeah it was great journey with shiksha uh, from the scratch uh, just from the where i went uh, for beginning to do my masters uh, it may be the preparing the lors sops applying for the visa in every step shiksha helped me a lot uh, like we can see there is a team for preparing loa sop uh, they helped me help me and so i was preparing my loa sop so the sop g- gone through the editors team and every time they checked and updated with my corrections uh, until then sop also in the process of university selections uh, the team the everyone counselors helped me a lot so according to my particular profile they helped which pro- university choose a match adapts with my profile so they submitted they admit uh, they applied uh, myself among of myself so after the admission to in the visa process every time uh, while filling the ds160 or any other things about the i20s everything look after by the shiksha and also there were many mock interviews which i was taken even day before okay. the my interview day the d day so it was very much helpful and i was very happy and thankful to shiksha study abroad for making it happen that's great i appreciate your uh, feedback for shiksha uh, tanish and uh, like how how did usa come across so you had already selected usa as you just mentioned 
to USA being one of the uh, yeah. prime hubs mm-hmm. for data science and computational data and softwares, right? Mm-hmm. So that's quite cool. And uh, yeah. what all prerequisite examinations uh, you had to go for before uh, applying to IUPUI? So uh, did you mm-hmm. go for GRE or uh, like apart from IELTS, uh, any other examination that you had to do? No, coming to my profile, I was mm, I never taken okay. any GRE or IELTS. I just take a take in the exam okay, called okay. Julingo. Okay. So, so for my university, mm-hmm. the GRE was exempt, and the only requirement for the is uh, okay. English proficiency exam. Also, the G, even the IELTS, TOEFL, and Julingo is accept, accepted in the university, and there are many universities which accept okay. only Julingo. So it was very easy. Just just mm-hmm. the Julingo exam. And what's exam the minimum and, yeah. percentage that IUPUI is requiring in the graduation? So in graduation, it's not like uh, mm. the percentage. Uh, the grade point. What CGP? Uh, even though our scale is on ten, on ten, the grade points for prerequisites are for four, four, four grade point scale. It was okay. So minimum three, three CGP is required to like be eligible. Uh, it's not minimum. It's from okay. two point five okay. to three, okay. I guess. Yeah. So that's cool. So all thanks for sharing all the vital information. And I'll request all the students as well. In case if you have a question that you want to ask to uh, Thanesh, you can directly post it in the comment box, and we'll be taking up your questions. So coming back to the session again, uh, like Thanesh, uh, you being from the south, how how is the weather in uh, Indiana, Polis? So like how yeah. difficult difficult uh, was uh, in uh, Indiana like, was it for you to adjust there? Mm-hmm. It's totally different. As in Indiana, they'll say uh, you can just wait at twenty four hours. You will be seeing any any oh. season in this in that twenty four hours. It may rain today and it may be mm-hmm. sunny sunny on other day, but uh, at my entry time it was uh, heavy oh. winter and winter storms. So it was totally changed as we are in, we didn't see in any winters in that uh, our exactly. south area, right? So it was totally winter. Yeah, now. It will be rainy, and even though in the summer it has many, very much mm-hmm. summer, very high mm-hmm. temperatures, so it's not that much quite better. So students have to everybody. be mentally prepared to face uh, the weather conditions. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, in winter it is high, mm-hmm. and summers too it's high. So, so it may be would you suggest in every day? Okay, even you, today it's raining. Do you suggest students the, yeah. to carry some sort of uh, like clothes or winter wear, especially from India, or yeah, yeah. Mm, not much required as uh, okay. they can so buy you get here. Most of the things there so. for winters. Okay. Yeah. When for the next intake, it's not the winter, right? So it's so okay. good when they come here. Great, this August or in some winter. And one of the most important questions that comes up to a student's mind is accommodation. So, like, how did you go about the accommodation? Mm. Uh, Like once you landed there, like did you book your accommodation before moving to Indiana, or like you started searching when you landed there? So how was how was your experience in that? So, so everybody they'll get two options at uh, on campus living and off campus living. So if if it is on campus living, everybody everything they will be set by the university and you will be guided by them. So but I was staying in this off campus. So for this, I booked in before I was landing here yeah. in at India, before Indiana. So there were many options and many uh, student community apartments. So many students live here off campus. So we can just uh, book it on online, and it's the easy okay. process. And what's the average cost, uh, like average rent that a student has to bear? So what's the rent that you are paying? Like, mm-hmm. Uh, but uh, here we are stay- staying with the okay. five people who are in a two BHK. So per head it will be average on three fifty dollars, including the utilities. Okay. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. Everything will be That's covered right. in that. So total, like five people, mm-hmm. it would come up to about fifteen hundred or sixteen hundred. Or you are dividing eighteen hundred. It will be eighteen eighteen hundred. The total rent per month, or divide, it will be divided And by five members. Okay. So you get a lot of property options nearby IUPUI, or like you have to travel a lot. So what's what's the case there? Yeah, there are a lot of 
lot of options. Uh, it is very near to the university. Uh, within one mile radius, there would be many apartments okay. and many students live. But the there. rent would be on a bit higher side. Uh, that is what I think, right? If the you know, if the accommodation is yes, yeah, somewhat okay, uh, not much higher. It's okay. the average cost, great, not great. much higher. And uh, coming to uh, one of the uh, most vital things like campus experience. So how has the campus life been? So, like, what different things have you experienced, like, as compared to studying in India? So, how's the campus life and campus journey? Mm -hmm. uh, coming to the campus, uh, the major part you will see the difference okay. is the academics ones. Uh, like uh, in India back there, um, every lecture, every uh, the professor will will be having somewhat uh, idea <laughs> regarding every topics and. It will be a somewhat different one, and here there is not that much. Uh, I see the difference between uh, that academics is that which we can cannot interact very much exactly. with the professors, like in back, mm -hmm. back compared to the India. They'll teach you what the topic is and what uh, are the ones. Uh, it was a self-prepared. What you have to do is the just self-preparation. Even uh, we can ask doubts mm -hmm. and we can go through, but. Uh, some of the academics are okay. a little bit deaf okay. compared to the and, back day in India. So in campus and we will see a diversity and of they'll people. Be, they'll and be quite strict cultures. with the uh, notes and everything uh, to avoid plagiarism. Because in India, most of the things are like uh, theoretical. You just mm -hmm. learn it up and just write it down in the exam, right? So the academics would be tough there. So mm -hmm. I can understand. And like uh, are the... Yeah. Are the faculty uh, like uh, friendly with the students, especially the international students here from Southeast Asia and specifically Indians? So how's the faculty? How do they treat the international mm -hmm. students? Yeah, they are much friendly. There won't be any difference between mm -hmm. the, at that point. They are much friendly and everything okay. goes well. That's great. And uh, like, how is the safety in Indiana? Like uh, being an international student, uh, like how safe is the city? And uh, like, have you experienced some, some sort of uh, like racial thing? Because in back in the USA, it usually uh, comes up in the news uh, much often regarding uh, racial sort of yeah. abuse, specifically to Indians and Southeast Asians. So is it still active there? Uh, or like, have you experienced something like that? Mm, compared to, as you mentioned, any other okay. states, it is not that much. The, the rate is very low. And even we can see some crimes, but not like, mm -hmm. like the racist ones, everything. So it is not... Mm, okay. That. As compared to other cities where like low. gun violence very. and all these are on a very rise, it's safe. Yeah, it, it is safe. It is by safe. safe for the international yeah. students. Okay. That's good. Mm, I can say okay. not. Okay. Um, and like, how do you commute? So how is the transportation facility in the city? Uh, like what sort of options are available? Yeah. They will be having on campus uh, transportation called Jag Line for the IUPI ones. There will be some sort of um, mm -hmm. tracks that follow, and the other ones are uh, Indigo, oh. the public transportation. The Indigo bus, the Indy bus, you know, can take that one too. Mm -hmm. In total, Indianapolis, the bus service okay. is available. Great. And uh, do you travel often to other cities nearby, like uh, just for like chilling out, or do you travel with your friends? to nearby cities just to look out for mm. places uh, places which have been not so, uh, like traveled very often by people mm. so i just came for this spring okay. right i so never you, went to any other cities mm. not too much far okay, just, just in, in the, the city okay great mm. it, and mm. is, it is okay. downtown great and uh, like, how is the Indian community, uh, Indian student community there? And like, do they celebrate Indian festivals? Mm. And like, what sort of activities yeah. you uh, do as students? Any experience that you would like to share? Recent experience? There's, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. There is okay. a club called Daisy Jacks, the UPA Daisy Jacks. Uh, it is oh. organized by our Indian. The every Indian festival is celebrated by them, and every event. Uh, and recently one we celebrated Holi as it is winter in here in the time period so we celebrated mm -hmm. at the last week Holi yeah. so it was very cool we okay, enjoyed great. a lot 
there will be yeah you in that even you will be thought as you we were in india okay. like that will be great. and uh, like since all the students are quite active i believe that you would be getting assistance as well just in case if you need some sort of help in case of uh, like in case of any sort of emergency so students would be very helpful so that helps a lot so that's great and apart from that uh, how do uh, part time job opportunities come up there so like i know you have just entered uh, usa it's not been long but uh, do you have any friends who have shared experience mm-hmm. related to part time jobs and what sort of jobs are being offered what's the pay that a student gets mm, it's starting we can get the on campus jobs as there are many but uh, at that uh, spring intake it may be not many as much as compared to the mm-hmm. fall ones which i have came so there will be on campus jobs like mm, they can be done as uh, ta rea jobs the assistance mm-hmm. of research and ta and in every section every block every sector there will be one job uh, as like in library as any dining any uh, accommodation facilities there are many jobs too but i can say it's not in this spring but in fall we they will be getting more like there will okay. be graduation and what right? sort of jobs are being offered outside just in case if a student does not want to opt in campus job so any other jobs that are being offered outside the campus Yeah, outside the campus, there will be many like in the, okay. the same. Mostly gas related to gas stations, hospitality, and all of those things. Oh, great! And the average? Yeah. Do you have any idea regarding the average pay that a student can get? Yeah, and uh, it will dollars. be ten dollars around ten. Yeah. Okay, great, great. And in IUPUI, do you have any sort of placements? Then, like once a student graduates, like completes his or her masters. So, uh, like, does IUPUI provide any sort of placement assistance? Do you have any idea related to that? Yeah, there is a graduation team okay. from IUPUI side, and we can join them. There are some opportunities, and there will be some mm-hmm. fairs, job fairs, and there will, the advisors will guide about okay. every happening mm-hmm. ones. So mm-hmm. there is a team. And most of the students that you are living in right now, uh, they are uh, the recent uh, intake one only. So there is no student who has just passed out. Or you have friends who have already passed out from IUPUI and like they have secured a placement or any experience like that. Mm, not just passed out as they are in the third semester as they are doing in the okay. CPT. Okay. CPT open T pair they are into. as they are placed in that cpt in this mm-hmm. indie itself okay great great yeah. so we have a few questions posted by the students as well so we will take up a few questions so most of them are i guess in your local language so if uh, if you would be able to help out sai yeah uh, i don't see any questions here you just scroll uh above you might be able to see a few questions i i saw uh, one question posted just a second so i just saw a question related to scholarship uh so did you get any sort of scholarship when you had applied to iupi uh, like did they offer any scholarship to you Uh, there is a merit scholarship for my undergrad uh, gpa and it was 2000 dollars as it is my computational mm-hmm. data science comes under purdue degree so it is 2001 time scholarship when it, the courses as uh, uh, there was applied data science and some other courses uh, uh, which oh. comes under the indiana university there will be a scholarship for every semester around 2500 mm-hmm. dollars so up to 2000 to 2500 dollars of scholarship can be available So this is a one-time scholarship that is uh, mm-hmm. like deducted in your. Yeah, when it is Purdue Purdue degree, it's one-time okay. scholarship of two thousand dollars. It will be deducted deducted in my tuition fees. And uh, apart from that, uh, like since data science is one of the hot sectors, I know engineering uh, related, like automobile engineering, mechanical, and all these sectors are quite hot in uh, USA. A lot of jobs come up. Uh, apart from that any other sectors that you have idea about that are quite uh, like on a rise or on a boom in the usa and students uh, might look up to pursue courses related to those fields 
Like uh, uh, here at IUPAI, uh, I can see the HI Health Informatics sector, Health Informatics Department. As uh, I guess uh, the IUPAI is the most famous okay. of the uh, Health Informatics side. You will see many mm -hmm. many graduate students, and it has many okay. strength in that that branch. Health Informatics and the Applied Data Science. Also, I can see the HCI okay. Human Computer okay. Interactions. Okay. So these are the top ones that are on a rise right now, and students uh, looking forward to pursue these courses can look at IUPAI. Okay, great. Mm, so we yeah. have covered almost all the topics, uh, Sai, and uh, like we have, we just got one to two questions, and we have covered those questions as well. So I think we can conclude with the session. So thanks again for joining us today and giving us your valuable time uh, on this early yeah. morning. I understand that, uh, and especially being a Monday. Yeah. yeah so thanks okay. again, Sai, okay. for giving us your time. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, I'll request all the students mm -hmm. to follow us on Instagram and YouTube as well. I have pinned the comments, uh, and you can follow us on Instagram and YouTube for more such exciting sessions in the coming days. So thanks again, Sai. See you in the coming uh, sessions. Thank you. Have a great day. Mm -hmm.